Another group of plants that sometimes go overlooked are the anthocyanin free Saracenia. Um, and as you look at them here, you can see, oh, I understand why they overlook them, because we have them all totally cut back and there's not much to look at, except for the perps. The perps are looking super great still. These are all still uh, pictures from last year, but they're just so super beautiful. They can take a little bit of, they're a little tricky because it's a full sun plant that um, doesn't have its pigments. The anthocyanins that make Saracenia red are much like the uh, melanin in our skin, but they don't have any of that, these guys. And so it makes them a little bit more fair. Um, so we, we grow them over here where they're getting some afternoon shade. It's three o'clock now, and so the sun has cut out. Uh, and that's a good tip for keeping them um, looking really super nice like these here. And you can see almost every, we have almost every single taxon of Saracenia in it, in an antho free form. And so I'm really excited to cross with these two and make more antho free caspiis. Antho free excellence, which is minor by leucophila, is something that we've never had a great deal of here, and I'm going to do that this year. And Rigliana, which is leucophila by Cytosina, which Danielle is looking at right there, is Cytosina. And I want to cross that with leucophila to make antho free Riglianas, which we don't have yet, which I'm super excited to make. And of course, pure species of all these things. Uh, the Venosa uh, anthophries here are particularly rare and then hard to grow for lots of people, but you can see we have nice flowers coming on those. And so I'll be making you guys a lot of anthophree Venosa. And one of the things that looks so cool about these is you can grow them next to your beautiful red ones and the color contrast is just really super nice. So don't forget about your antho free guys. And you'll see some on our webpage now, I think, uh, with lots more in the future all the time.